So Buddy's enjoying nature behind us. Good job, honey. Great outdoors. And we're going to make spicy tuna today. It's a type of poke. So I'm gonna get my fish and all the ingredients. I'm probably gonna have to put them in the baby carrier. He's got somebody wrapped around his finger. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard to cut looking over his big head. Give you a bath. <laughs> Greetings! And today we will be making spicy poke. I said spicy tuna. We don't even have tuna. It's ono that we're using, but it's referred to a lot as spicy ahi or spicy tuna. But you can use any fish that you enjoy eating raw. So we have a beautiful slab of ono that our friend caught. So it's super fresh fish, but it has skin on, bloodline still in. So I'm just gonna clean it up, which you don't have to do if you already have just a nice prepared block of fish. It's great for tuna, but it's also great for, like I said, any kind of fish that you would want to eat raw that you would enjoy um, but especially like even if it's not like totally sashimi grade even better because you know the thing about spicy poke is it does add so much flavor to the fish that even fish that might not be like top 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 quality for sashimi that might actually be a better contender but because we're spoiled we can even use top quality stuff for this. So what I'm doing is I like to, oops, when I make my spicy poke, I don't go in the regular big chunks that most people eat poke in. I go in really small cubes. So take a look at that, Justin. See that? See how it's kind of, it's small? Yeah. But yeah, see how it's small? This is how I like to do spicy poke. Some people like to go really really small i mean not even cubes they like to really mush up like chop 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 it up even smaller i don't really take it that far but i if um if i have fish scraps if i just have you know crazy like little ends and scraps of fish then i'll do that or if you know if we catch an ah uh, here catch a fish and we're actually scraping meat off the bones, if we're just like scraping meat off the bones and it comes into this mush, then spicy, this spicy recipe is, um, it's great for that. So you can really use this for, for fish if it's already just scrapped and you know, you're just gonna dice it or mush it up a lot. For those that may not know what ono is, Kimmy? Good point, honey. So this is ono and ono is Hawaiian for wahoo. It's a common pelagic fish. a common pelagic fish. It can be whatever is coming up in your sustainable local fisheries. It can be, you know, a reef fish, a near shore fish, as long as it's a fish that you can do this to, then you can make spicy poke. Okay, we're gonna wash our hands, rinse our knife. See your kalo plant right here? grew way faster than you and it had babies already. Red noodle beans. So I have to go make some poke now, bye. A bunch of fish. 
the next step I always go for is salt. And when I make poke, I always use, I always use Hawaiian salt. It's a very coarse salt. If you don't have Hawaiian salt, just find a coarse sea salt, like really coarse. I guess kosher would be the, would be a good one to use. Here we have a whole bunch of Hawaiian salt. Yeah, I like to use this red Hawaiian salt from the island of Kauai when I make spicy tuna, but that's mainly because it just comes out. The whole spicy tuna is a red looking thing anyway, so I figure why not stick with that color scheme? Although it does have nice flavor because it's red from from the minerals and that are found in the clay and in the dirt. Anyway, so you salt it. We're gonna have to test that and adjust. Next ingredient is sesame oil. Very important, in my opinion, in spicy tuna. See how I went pretty generous with that? A lot of people, when they make spicy poke, it's like all mayo. It's just like you look at it and it's just like super duper mayonnaise. That's just not, I don't really care for that style. I like to use oils more because it gives you that soft silky texture that you're looking for but it also gives you a lot of flavor so that's chili oil chili oil you can usually find in any grocery store in the ethnic aisle Sir, Sri, sriracha is that how you say it sriracha i heard there's a really great documentary about the owner the guy who made sriracha i've never watched it yet but i heard it's a really cool like cinderella story but anyway sriracha or your favorite your favorite hot sauce that's similar though, similar to this type of taste, I would say. Nice, strong hot sauce. As you can see, we like it spicy around here. Green onions. Some people put regular white onions in their spicy poke, but I don't. But to make up for it, I load it up with these green onions. And you can save some for garnishing once you're totally mixed and ready. And then this is a true, I wanna say bonus, but I find it pretty important most of the time. This is tobiko. Tobiko are the eggs of the flying fish, if you didn't know that. But tobiko, I find it in Asian markets sold frozen and I just keep it frozen because this was actually frozen, but it defrosts so fast. So just keep it in the freezer and just take what you need and put it back in the freezer. These are just like crunchy, delicious flavors and textures. It's kind of sweet, Tobiko. People think it's super salty. It's really not. And it's not super sweet either. It's just, it's mainly that pop that you want. And so if you don't have Tobiko, it's okay. Maybe that's why people put onions, but maybe they do want some sort of crunch or pop. But if you do have it, if you can find it, then by all means use it. There's other fish roe called masago. If that's all you can find, use that. But basically, this really helps. And I forgot one ingredient, and that's the one that I was kind of knocking, but that's mayo. I am gonna use a little bit of it, just not a whole bunch. Again, for our most spicy pokies I see, People just would put like, I don't know, half a cup of mayo in here. You don't need that much. So I'm gonna put, this is still, this is still generous, but, but this much. For that amount of fish, that would be more or less my ratio. And you can, you can play around with it, obviously. And you do you. But you see how it's the oils that are really coating the fish and the mayo, kind of just, it, it adds to that silky texture. It's gonna add a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of soft glisten, but it's not gonna just be like, oh, I feel like eating a bowl of spicy mayonnaise with a side of fish. No, it's just ever so slightly coating the fish. See that? Isn't that beautiful already? And some people don't like fish eggs in it. If you don't like it, don't use it. I understand that is kind of exotic, but basically I feel like the sesame oil, very important. Chili oil, if you have it, please use it. If not, double up on the hot sauce, green onions, yes, and just don't overpower your mayo and use a really good salt.
that's what we have. Perfect. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, so let's just go to plating real quick. Even though we probably want to take this and go eat it somewhere more fun, I just want to show you. You can just serve it, obviously, like this. Mixing bowl is kind of big for a serving bowl, so I could put it in a bowl this size, and it would be great, as you can see. Here we go. Putting it in there, that's a much better look, I feel, if you care about that. So that's not a lot nicer. And then, you just sprinkle it with green onions and call it a day. I think that's beautiful. I would just do that. But let's go for option number three. You can kind of press it in here, right? Just not too much though. Don't press too hard. Just slightly press, okay? Then you take a plate. See the plate? You try and center it. You cover it. And then you just do this flip. And then you have a mound, a beautiful mountain mound that you can garnish with green onions. You could even throw some crackers or chips or whatever. I mean, poke, you can just eat it with chopsticks, eat it with forks. You can just serve this, but you can also use it as a dip. So you can get creative, but there we go. <laughs> We really hope you love these videos, and if you do, please subscribe so that you can keep seeing more.